Over the past century, CO2 levels and global surface temperatures have climbed, stressing ecosystems across the world. You can see the warning signs even in one of the world's most protected places, Yellowstone National Park. It lies within one of the largest intact ecosystems north of the equator, sheltering over 60 species of mammals. Among them is the grizzly bear, whose numbers have rebounded from 150 to about 600. But grizzlies are back on the endangered species list. Climate change is killing off one of their key sources of food, the high fat seeds of the white bark pine tree. Across the American and Canadian Rockies, once green forests are bleached of color as white bark pines are killed by a tiny assailant. Biologist Elizabeth Hadley has studied the Yellowstone ecosystem for 30 years. Okay, Sean, this is a really, this is a great example. So, you know, if you look up, you see green branches and there's some cones up there. But in fact, this tree has just been hit. And the evidence are these little holes that are marked by red. So the defense that this tree has is, is really minimal. Is that sign here? There's a chance. The culprit is the mountain pine beetle, which bores into the bark to lay its eggs. The newly hatched larvae eat away at the tree, quickly killing it. So this is the beast causing all the trouble. Look at that, not even as big as my fingernail. Beetles have long lived here, but as the climate warms, they're moving to higher elevations, attacking trees once out of reach. An average increase of just a couple of degrees means the winter is no longer cold enough for long enough to kill off the beetles. And it's all happening very fast. This is what an attack looks like seven to 10 years later. Wow. The last time I was here, this was a dense green forest with a cacophony of sound. Within 10 years, this forest is silent. These trees are not gonna produce cones for at least 50 years. That is if white bark pine comes back. So the change may be permanent. 